All right. Come on. There we go. There. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, please leave me alone. Sorry. I'm sorry, bees. I'm sorry, but I, ne I need your bees. Thanks. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Among Trees. Today, we're gonna get out there once again, and in this episode, I want to start off by possibly making that fishing pole. Now that we have the cookery, um, obviously getting some fish would be a really good idea. So, we should have that. I don't know if I have enough old regs. I use a lot of those. Um, but before that, let's actually start cooking while we're sitting around here so we don't waste time. But yeah, if you missed the last episode, we did a lot in this thing. We've added a lot to our little cabin here. Um, obviously, the cookery is pretty damn important. Is this thing on? There we go. Oh, wow. Is it combining it? That's actually really cool if it does combine it. I'm not sure. Obviously, we're going to need to add a lot of sticks to this thing because it goes down quickly. Uh, so that's definitely something we can do at night. So let's make sure we have enough to make that fishing pole because I would like to go fishing today. Oh, yeah. We have some rags, and I believe it was two jute rope and maybe sticks. I forget what exactly the last one was. Uh, let's go check it out. Ah, oh, six sticks. I think I stored the sticks. I always do that. I just confuse the backpack with the inventory in this game. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, my God. The animations in this game are amazing. So, yeah, I didn't have an, an, enough sticks. I guess I threw them all in here. Um, but that... So you combine as much food as you want into a pot, and that will basically heal me all the way up. That is huge. Okay, so I don't know if I want to make stews that strong. It'd be nice to have some, some basic stews as well. Anyways, I need to go get some more sticks, so we're going to chop down some more trees here. And, um, yeah, we should be able to go fishing by the end of today. Okay, fishing rod time. We'll craft this up. And I'm excited because the river is really close to us. Find a lake and equip your fishing rod to start fishing. Look for ripples on the water to find good fishing spots. Okay, so there is actually some strategy to this. I'm assuming... Oh, it's actually already on there. So we have that. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much ready. We're just. I'm just going to throw some more stuff on the um, fire here. So we're going to add the rest of those sticks. And we may as well get rid of these mushrooms now. Again, I don't want to make really powerful stews because then I basically have to starve myself and then eat. Um, whereas, you know, if we use half, uh, it shouldn't fill the whole thing. Because if we look at this, like this fills everything, which is great. It actually fills health as well. Um, so that's going to be a really good piece of food to have later, actually. Let me store this stuff and then we'll get out. Um, it's looking like it's just morning time right now, so we have lots of time. All right, so here we are at the river. Now, this leads into the lake, so... I want to figure out these ripple things I was talking about. Obviously, fish are going to make ripples here. I thought we could just do it right in the river here, but it might not be that easy. But yeah, the lake's really not too far away. It actually opens up right here. And this should be a good spot for fishing, I think. Well, I'm not seeing any ripples, but I'm hearing, like, water noises. So you know what? Let's just try it here. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch something right away. Uh, I'm assuming the pole's just gonna bend. Oh my god, look at the little twigs on this. I love this. Fishing lure is stuck. Oh, there's actually obstacles I have to avoid? I gotta say, I'm so impressed with this game. Oh, there's- there's a ripple. Come on, buddy. Okay, I don't know if I have to reel in like I need to troll. I honestly have no idea. Okay, oh, you can throw this really far clearly, too. Alright, so I'm gonna kinda jig it in. Um... Again, I don't know how re realistic this is. Usually when it comes to survival games, you just throw a line in the water and wait. I think in this one, it's actually got some fish-based mechanics here, which is extremely impressive. I'm trying to pull this over to that ripple. Oh, there's another one. Come on. Oh, I can actually see the fish. There's one right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's very vague, but that's amazing. Oh, this is great. I think I have one following me. You can see by the ripple here. Come on, take it. Oh, this is actually hard, which is nice. It's nice to have some difficulty when it comes to getting a fish. I'm assuming if we catch one, though, it's going to be a really good meal. Yeah, there's a lot of fish here. This is great. Oh, catching a fish. Okay. Reel in by holding hold your rod in the opposite direction. So just like actual real-life fishing, you want to keep the line tight. Keep a steady tension. If the line tension is too high, the line will break. If it's too loose, the, line, the fish might slip off the hook. This is amazing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love this. Okay, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. There we go. Pull it. Oh, don't break it. Don't break it. All right. Give him some line. Oh, my God. You actually have to fight in this game. There we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. 
All right, he's starting to get tired. He's getting nice and close now. We got to be getting close here. Whew, it's going to take me all day to land a couple fish. They Oh, you bastard. I thought I got him. <laughs> the line broke right at the end. Oh, I got to start worrying about food here. All right, let's try again, though. I think I figured out a better way. I was kind of slowly reeling in before. Now I'm constantly reeling in. And as long as I keep my pole bent, but not too bent, we shouldn't break the line. There we go. I got a rain perch. Okay, so I can take both the meat and the bones. I wonder what the bones are for. Oh, got another one. Okay, I'm getting better at this now. I have figured out the strategies here. So there we go. There we go. Yeah, he's coming right in. So I'm assuming the smaller the fish, the easier it is. This guy's probably not going to be very big. I, I don't know, though. Maybe I'm just getting better at it. Another rain perch. Is there anything else in here, or is it all perch? Don't get me wrong. Perch is some of the most delicious fish to eat, so I'm not complaining. Oh, got another one. Okay. <laughs> There's so many here. At least it's nice to know that I got a nice school of fish right by my cabin here when I really need food. That guy came in real quick. Okay, we got something else. I have no idea what this is, but we get skin with this guy. Let's eat our soup in, in celebration here, and there we go. We're maxed out. Uh, so we shouldn't have to worry about food for the rest of the day. All right, getting a little cold out. I've been just trying to get some sticks here so I can cook up this fish tonight, hopefully. Now, it should show us what this fish actually gives us. Um, so cook gives us half food. These actually give us more of the perch. Okay, so we probably only do want to do one of those at a time. Now, I wonder if the stews stack, though. I think it's so cool that you can just combine food together to really build a food that you want. So if you want to just focus on... Health, for example, you could find things that heal you a lot. Uh, this wouldn't be something that heals you a lot. But it's just so smart. Certain things don't heal you. Certain things drop your temperature. It's just such a cool game. Okay, so let's try... Oh, wait. There's still cooked food in there. Okay, so I get multiple bowls. All right, so we'll add, I think, this guy and one of these guys together. That should give us basically full food. Food is the only thing I really want to focus on. Uh, but I gotta grab the rest of my soup here. Um, so now we can cook some more food. We got full sticks in there. So yeah, one of each should give us... I wish it showed us... Oh, it does actually show us. I'm clearly blind. Um, it shows you exactly what you get out of this. Oh, this is... God, I am really impressed with this game. You gotta remember, this is only pre-alpha, so this is fantastic. Now next up... Ooh, how do we get metal plates? Dogbane stems, I know where to get those. I'm not sure on glue, though. Um... Hmm, so I guess we'll just have to explore. There's still things we can build in the um, crafting station here. I guess a, a good thing to get would be pickaxe. I haven't attacked bees yet just because I feel like I'm going to get stung. So I know where to get beeswax, obviously. Uh, I think we'll make the tent for tomorrow. That way we could actually explore. Uh, another thing we should probably try and get. Unfortunately, it's still locked for me. That's a pot. I'm assuming. Oh, I don't even have the campfire either. Uh, that would be great to combine with the tent, obviously, to explore fully. But I can still survive off mushrooms, so it's no big deal. I think tomorrow we'll make the tent and try and go as far as possible. I don't really need the compass. It's pretty easy to tell where, where you are. Anyways, I gotta get to bed before I pass out. That was a great day. We figured out how to fish. We cooked some fish. And now survival is pretty damn easy. Unless I find bears, of course. And one week of survival now... Just imagine that. I've built this whole cabin in a week. That's actually pretty damn impressive. Okay, and let's prep for an adventure. So we're gonna make that tent. There we go, just like that. Making a full tent in seconds. Also, I figured I may as well get one more med kit. Um, because I have quite a few rags right now. So there we go. Uh, we have our food. We should be okay for that. We still have mushrooms. Is there anything... Oh, these things don't stack. You gotta be serious. Okay, I really need the sewing room because you can definitely get an upgraded backpack. And this backpack is just annoying to say the least. So we're gonna have to store those sticks and planks. Uh, just to have any sort of inventory space, because we'll probably find some metal today, at least hopefully. All right, you know what? I'm actually going to store the med kit as well. Um, I think we should be okay with one med kit. We'll just have to be very careful if we get attacked once. I thought they would stack. Unfortunately, they do not. All right, let's waste no time, though. Sunrise is coming. I'm starving. We're just going to eat some mushrooms for right now. We should find some mushrooms along the way as well. Now, which way do we want to go? That's the question. Um, we haven't explored much of East, so let's go out that way. That should be fun. Of course, the day I decide to explore, it's freaking pouring out. Um, so yeah, weather is a thing in this game. I actually heard thunder as well. I hope it's not actually dangerous. 
Uh, I'm also wondering if I can actually start getting cold because of the wetness. Uh, obviously, if that happens, we'll have to uh, revert back just to play it safe. I'm more worried about this thunder right now. Well, I meant to go east, and I somehow reverted to south. So I guess we're going south today, guys. Regardless, we're kind of at the unknown area now, so this is all going to be new landscape for us to explore. Uh, so I'm totally cool with that. Well, good news. The uh, storm cleared up pretty quickly, so uh, I don't have to worry about dying to thunder anymore, or I guess technically lightning. Also, Mother Nature is really loving me right now, because I have how many button mushrooms? Five. I also got four blackberries. So I shouldn't have to eat my food anytime soon. Now, ooh, it looks like this wraps back around, so we might... Damn, man, more blackberries. Um, we might be kind of at the edge of the map here, unless this opens up way over here. Yeah, it's looking like I'm I'm blocked in by a wall, unfortunately. At least we, at least we can find the perimeter of the map for right now. I don't think the map is crazy big um, just yet. And obviously, once they develop the game more, they'll just open up these walled-in areas here. But still, it feels big enough. Um, it's definitely, I mean, I still only explored a little bit of it. I, I guess we can go over to this area. This obviously opens up because we have the lime material over there. Now, I don't have the pickaxe yet, though, so uh, I'm not going to be able to get any metal or anything like that. Ooh, would you look at that, though? We found a box. The question is, is there bears? Okay, this is what I need, though. All this metal stuff. I need to figure out how to get plates, though. No space in inventory? Jesus, man. Oh, this is the downside, man. We 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 have to get that sewing room. That is uh, obviously of utmost importance because once I get that, I'm assuming we can get a bit a bigger backpack. Um, so it's actually turning sundown right now. I'm definitely not gonna make it home. The one thing I'm worried about is is the tent gonna give me enough enough warmth with, 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 without a fire. Um, that's something I'm obviously going to have to risk tonight to find out. Oh my God, just the color difference is amazing here. Oh, look at that. I found another one now. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have much space, but hopefully I can stack some of this stuff. Yeah, more jute rope. Perfect. I already got steel wire. Give me some more of that. What's in here? Uh, nails I don't have to actually have any space for. I think I got steel pipes. Nails are pretty easy to make, so I'm not too worried about that. It's the bigger pieces of metal that are a pain in the butt. I was hoping to find one, some of those blueprint fragments. I need the pot and I need the uh, fire. I mean, fire is like a main source of survival, and I still haven't found it. I feel like you should have that at the start. Um, clearly not, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to, um, did I already search this one? No, I didn't. Perfect. Steel wire, oh, perfect. All the stuff I have. So, yeah, we're gonna have to ma make our way home tomorrow, because we're almost maxed out now. But, yeah, as I said, I'm not gonna make it tonight, so, um, we'll have to r run the risk of sleeping. I might go up here. I was hoping to find a cave. There is caves in this game. Uh, and obviously, if I can find that, that's a good source of shelter. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's a cave here. That's why I've been following the wall all day, though. I mean, it's not really a cave, but it's something. I don't think that's going to work, though. All right, well, I think this is a pretty peaceful place to call it a night at. I mean, Jesus, is there a cave up here, though? It's getting really rocky, the train, which is really, really cool. Um, oh, my God, yeah, it's definitely turning nighttime, though. I was really hoping to find a cave by the end of today. Didn't get lucky, though. Where, where the hell am I going? Yeah, there's no cave over here. Is this, like, a, an opening, please? Okay, yeah, we're back to kind of the opening here. This is a good spot. I don't think bears will come up here, hopefully. And let's see how this works. Oh, okay. Actually, we, we, we were okay. I was worried it was the angle. How do I rotate this? Oh, so it's got 90 degrees of rotation. Unfortunately, it looks like it's too aggressive of an incline, possibly. There we go. All right, place tent. Ah, <sighs> dude, this is fantastic. All right, well, how do I do this? Okay, so sleep. It's getting cold out. I really hope, yeah, okay, so you can sleep in the tent without a fire. We have figured that out. I'm, I'm a hungry boy right now. You know what? Let's start the day with a tasty meal here. Um, That one heals health, so let's play this smart in case we get attacked by a bear, and we'll get that one. So we're going to tear down the tent. Now, this only has three uses. Oh. Did it actually change the ground, too? Like, it killed the grass? Or was that just lucky placement? Regardless, dude, everything about this game is fantastic. I am... I'm trying not to fanboy too hard, but this isn't a sponsored video, so who the hell cares? This is an amazing game. And uh, I'm so excited to see where it gets developed to. 
Because, uh, yeah, I, I, this is the best survival game I've played in a long time. All right, but we got to get home because inventory is a thing. Obviously, there is quite a big map to explore, and I think the northern area is going to be really a, m more of a focus. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll kind of beeline at home because I'm going to probably find lots of cool stuff that I can't pick up, and that's going to bother me. So, yeah, get home, maybe try and build the sewing room by the end of today. That would be great. I don't remember what it really costs, though. Oh, we got bees. I know I know I needed beeswax for something. I have a med kit, so I think I should try this cuz I don't think you can make a bow or anything like that. Obviously, let's focus on getting space as quickly as possible. Okay. Cuz this is dumb. This is re Can I just have some Hello? Oh, it's so Ah, damn it. Give me come on, man. How do I get them? All right. Come on. There we go. There. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, please leave me alone. Sorry! I'm sorry, bees! I'm sorry, but I need- I need your bees! <laughs> They're following me! I don't like it! Okay. What the hell? Okay, so I got honey. Um... That was fun. So now we know! Um, axe that bitch! Also, honey, goddamn dude, even eating it raw, full healths me, so... I guess med kits aren't the only thing that, uh, we need to heal ourselves. That- then again, that kind of re relieves poison. And bleeding, so... I thought it healed us as well. I guess it doesn't. Oh, and it's always a happy sight to see my beautiful cabin. We're back. We survived it. Killed some bees. Well, didn't kill them, but killed their home. Uh, so now we got that beeswax. Now let's see what I need for that sewing room, because I totally forget. Uh, there it is. Oh, yeah, glue and dog bane. Things, actually, note items. What does this mean? Um, oh, you can actually add them to the list here. What is, what's gonna give me glue? Because we need it for the greenhouse as well. Um, hmm. Is there anything on here? We just have large trees. Maybe the large trees will give us glue? I haven't really explored it too much, so we could head up there. That might be smart to just explore. Oh, wait. I wonder if glue's in here. I never thought of... Oh, it is. You dummy! Okay, so I need lime mineral, large resin, and yellow ash leaves. Um, so maybe we should go check out the lime. I'm assuming I'm going to need the pickaxe for that. What do I need for the pickaxe? Oh! I'm so glad I found you, bees. Okay, well, we're gonna make the pickaxe, and then... I mean, I don't know if we'll get the glue today, but at least we know how to get it now. And that explains a lot. I forgot you can make resources in this. So, yeah, let's get that, uh, pickaxe done. There we go. What do, what do I need beeswax for? Is it held together by beeswax? I hope not. That's pretty dangerous. All right, so we're going to store some of our tools in here. We don't need that. We're not going to go out for too long today. Um, that's the thing. Do I want to take these or do I not? You really got to think about it when you have this small of an inventory. I think I will take them and just store everything else. All right, so let's get out there and give her 110%. And, uh, yeah, we might actually get the glue by the end of today if we get really lucky. Oh, actually, the sun's going down. Maybe I should wait till tomorrow. Because it is pretty far away. I was going to go to that new one. Uh, we haven't really explored that one too much, obviously. Uh, so, yeah. I think I'll just do some cooking right now. Um, and not risk dying to the frosty nighttime. Okay. And now we should have meals for literally days. Because I just made, like, four or five of them. And they basically fu full my fill my food meter basically fully. Okay, there we go, yeah. So unfortunately, I made some of the same soups, hoping they would stack as well. They don't stack, unfortunately, but, um, well, regardless, it's a great way to get food, and let's sleep today and go out tomorrow and get into some mining. Well, good morning, Mr. Bear. You're up mighty early. Damn it, that's the road I need to go to, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't, does, oh, it actually does open up over here, it looks like, so I think I'll go this way then. Aha! I called it. I was getting a little worried. I've wrapped pretty much all the way around. But we found the cave. Now, the big question is, is there bears in this cave? Because, you know, bears like caves as well. Oh, this is fantastic. So, I wonder if it's just as simple as mining anything. No. Obviously, there's got to be something that looks like limestone. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, my God. Listen to the sounds in here. That's not creepy at all. Give me it. Yes, lime mineral. Okay. Looks like there's a page over there or something, too. I see something on the ground. That excites me, because that might be a blueprint that I need. Is it? Yes! Campfire and campfire cooking kit blueprint. Exactly what I asked for at the start of this video. God, this game is just working out for this episode. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else in here, but at least I know kind of where the entrance is. I wish I could put, like, 
pinpoints on the map, but it should be pretty easy to tell that this is obviously where I want to go. Wish that cave went a little bit deeper, but I guess I can't be too picky. Now, the question is, do I go over where the bear was, or do I... You know what? I think there's another exit. Yeah, if we go up this way and then wrap around just to play it safe down by the pond, there isn't any creepy bears. And I do not want to be attacked by a bear today because I think this is the first episode I haven't been attacked by a bear yet. Let's hope I keep that going until the end of it. Actually, I wonder if I'll have time to get up to those trees too because I think I needed larch trees as well. Um, that's going to cut it close. I'm not sure. What's the sun looking like? I think it's going down right now. I've been out for quite a while. I'll see, I'll start running over there and see how much time I have. If I can get those today, then we definitely should be able to get the glue. Oh man, I found loot. I think I'm gonna go for the large trees. We're getting close. It's still not sundown. We'll, we'll grab that if we have time on the way back, but honestly, yeah, I just grabbed a piece of steel. I don't have like any inventory space, so I'm gonna discard these. Eat some delicious blackberries and give me the large trees. I forget exactly where they are. Whoa. I changed abruptly. Uh, must be sundown. Yes, it is. I called it. Oh, God. I'm still pretty far away. I don't have any warming items either. This is this might be a dumb idea. I'm still so far away from the home, but there they are, the golden beauties that they are. So I guess I just got to chop these and then book it home. <laughs> I'm not going to get too many of them because I don't have time. Oh, come on. There we go. Give me one. Should I do two? Yeah, I think I'm going to do one more. And that should give me... Larch resin. Re resin, that's what I needed. All right, two should be enough, I think. Regardless, we know exactly where this place is, so even if we don't get them today, um, we can obviously get them tomorrow, and it looks like we get one resin. No, come here. Come on, we gotta go home. Jesus Christ. But yeah, we can get one per day, so sun's going down. I'm still far away from home. Oh my God, I'm really far away from home. And of course, I stored my tent because I'm dumb. Okay, I made it. I freaked out a little bit, I think, but... The coldness comes quick in this game, and I do not want to freeze to death. That sounds like an awful way to die. It just turned nighttime now. My house should be right over here, I think. So, we cut it close, but uh, we had still probably a couple minutes left at least. Whew! What a day! That was a really successful day, actually, and that doesn't happen very much for me. <laughs> okay, did we get everything to make the glue? That's the question, and yes, indeed, I did. Um, so, we're going to make two of those. Oh, no, never mind. I only got enough yellow ash leaves for one. I might have some in storage, though. Um, but I forgot that I think I need dogbane. Um, I've seen that somewhere. I think it was in the swamps. Now, I don't think it's actually on the map. So we're going to have to figure out exactly where that is. There might be an outline here. It might be... No, that's actually a loot zone. Um, I'll have to check back and figure out where exactly I saw those. But I have gotten dogbane before. I might actually even have some. No, unfortunately, I do not. I do have enough of that gold stuff for some more glue, though. So we have the glue. Um, but yeah, we still... Actually, let's put this in the metal bin. But yeah, we still need the dog bane. So that's going to have to be something that we do in the next episode. So yeah, I got to say, this was a, a really successful episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Should we go for the sewing room so we have some more inventory space? At least I think that's what going it's going to give us. Or should we go for the greenhouse. The thing with the greenhouse is A, I don't know how to get the metal plates, and B, it's not like we're having a hard time with food in this game. Um, so yeah, I think I'd rather go for the sewing room to see how the clothing works in this game, because we got the base stuff right now. It'd be nice to get some warm clothing so we can be out longer as well and explore this beautiful world. So yeah, once again, guys, this is Among Trees. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking. It's cold outside. I'm going to get back inside, and I'll see you in the next one.